Hey guys, I wanted to do a video comparing the two Halloween movies, the original and the remake. Now here is the original, and here is the remake. Now I'll talk a little bit about them and uh, decide uh, where I think uh, these movies are better at in uh, the overall movie itself, which I think is better now. I'll start with the opening scene. I think uh, this is one of my favorite opening scenes from a horror movie. Now, uh, this video will contain uh, maybe some minor spoilers, uh, so yeah, just as a warning. Now, uh, here, uh, the opening scene is a point of view shot from Michael Myers, and you see him, uh, you know, like killing his uh, sister, his older sister, at the beginning of the movie. And then he leaves his house, and you see he's just uh, a little kid. And uh, yeah, you uh, see that, and uh, I think that was a cool opening scene. I really like that a lot. Now, the opening scene in this movie, you don't get it like that. You just see, uh, like, uh, Michael Myers' day, and then it's not until uh, later on in the day is when he, you know, kills... Uh, his family, and uh, you don't see it from his point of view, so yeah, but I think it was uh, kind of cool how they sort of made it a little different, but yeah, at least uh, this movie wasn't like a shot-for-shot -shot remake, you know, but I liked that, but the opening scene in this movie had more blood, you know, it's a Rob Zombie movie, so you'll expect to you would probably just have to, like, expect that from a Rob Zombie movie, but in this movie, they don't have uh, much blood in the opening scene, and there's hardly any blood or gore in this movie. There is a little bit, but that's not what the movie focuses on. But yeah, I personally enjoyed uh, the opening scene from the original uh, 1978 from instead of the remake from 2007. Now, I'll talk about, like, the killings. Now, I think uh, the killings in this movie were really well done, and I think uh, they were pretty nice, but in this movie, they were a whole lot more brutal, more graphic, and it had a lot of blood, and uh, this movie went into more detail. But the thing is, uh, is uh, with this movie, it's more like a psychological thriller in a way, like uh, of its uh, tense, dark, and creepy atmosphere. But this movie, it kind of has that, like with the origin, it, it seems sort of like realistic to me. But, you know, and that's kind of what makes it scary for me. But I uh, think that the original uh, was uh, darker and, you know, it just overall had a really tense and creepy atmosphere for its time. But, you know, this movie, it's, uh, you know, more brutal, you know, like with its killings. But I kind of liked uh, this one a bit more. They were sort of creative uh, and uh, it had uh, more of an original feel to it. So, in a way, I kind of say... I would probably say this, because, you know, I'm a gore hound and I like that type of stuff, and, but yeah, that's my personal thing, but if you're the type of person who likes uh, more like psychological thrillers, you know, like movies that rely more on suspense movies like Psycho, then you might enjoy, you know, the killings in this more, but I personally liked that, so. Now, on to like uh, the overall movie itself. Uh, now, I think this is more of a well-made movie, but this is a good remake that I think is uh, underrated. Not many people like it. The only people who really seem to like this movie a lot are fans of Rob Zombie. No, I haven't really seen many Rob Zombie movies, but, you know, this uh, one I thought was good. And uh, this movie, I thought it was more classic, you know, original, and, uh, you know, like, uh, altogether a better film, more well-made. And, 
I just thought it was uh, creepier. So, to me, I liked this more, but for a remake, this is uh, pretty good. But I'll, uh, I think this is a better film, so, yeah. Now, I'll talk about, like, the ending. Now, the ending is where you see Michael Myers, uh, you assume he's dead, but he ends up missing right at the end of the movie and you hear music playing and you see shots around the neighborhood, which I thought that was pretty cool. And I really liked that, which is one of a really good ending scene. I liked how it had really good opening scene, a good movie altogether, and an awesome ending scene, which I like a lot. So the ending was pretty cool. And it leaves a cliffhanger for a sequel. But the ending with the remake, you see that he's shot, but he doesn't die because, of course, they made a sequel to the remake. But yeah, I thought they could have done more, but maybe they just wanted to keep it simple. But me personally, I thought this was much better in terms of the ending. Maybe if they were to do it different, maybe if they did it, like, uh, in a different way, rather than just keeping it simple. It may maybe if they did it unique and different from this uh, ending, but I think that could have been better. But, yeah, I don't know. It could have been worse if they just did the same exact thing from this. But, you know, this uh, movie ending... You know, the ending to Halloween, I personally enjoyed a lot more. But anyways, I guess that's it. You know, like, this movie stands out to be one of my favorite horror movies of all time. But yeah, this is for sure a classic. And uh, I really enjoyed this. But for a remake, uh, I thought this was pretty decent. You know, if uh, they did it like uh, the remake uh, to... Movies like uh, Psycho, this could have been a complete disaster, but I liked uh, how they didn't do that. And I think uh, this movie will satisfy Rob Zombie fans, you know, people who like his movies. Uh, so for a remake, this is uh, also, you know, pretty good. But altogether, this is a much better film, so I liked this more than this movie, so yeah. Write down in the comments below what you thought of... Uh, either one, the original or the remake to Halloween, and what you think of them. So yeah, please like and subscribe for more videos, and that's it. Bye.